What's up, Dupe City fam? Today we are going to recreate the Magic Candle Company fragrance Haunted in candle form. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make exact replicas for a fraction of the cost. Now, before we begin, I should inform you that I'm in no way affiliated with Magic Candle Company. I'm just an experienced candle maker with some pretty rad research skills. So my tutorials are meant to be followed exactly because when you start cutting corners for whatever reasons, your products are unsafe to use. Candle safety and responsibility should always come first. Some of you may even be wondering how we can provide you with the exact fragrances that the MCC uses. Well, it's no real secret in the candle world that MCC does not mix their own fragrances. We all pretty much get our oils from the same suppliers. The best part is you have the same access to these suppliers and that's how you're going to be able to recreate the same products at a cheaper cost. You're just not paying for someone's time, effort, and name, which is the beauty of DIY. So if you have a favorite MCC fragrance, have no fear, we will cover all of them in future videos. And I'm going to link below the sources for all of the supplies that you'll need to create an identical product. Just follow the directions in the video and do not deviate, add, or remove any product for safety reasons. Let's get started. As you can see from the graphic, for the haunted candle that we are going to be making today, we are going to be using the Cedarwood Vanilla Fragrance from the Candle Maker Store. And after the video, we're going to review it. So the first step to creating your own candle is to prepare the candle tin. We're going to do this by gently wiping out the inside and the outside of the tin with rubbing alcohol. To do this, just take a paper towel with rubbing alcohol and clean the inside and the outside of the tin, making sure to not rub the outside of the tin too hard because you don't want to take off the silver coating. You can now set aside your candle tin to dry. Next, we're going to prep our wick tab by using the same cloth with rubbing alcohol to clean off the dirt and grease from the bottom so that the double-sided wick sticker stays put. The next step is to gently peel off one side of the wick sticker and firmly press it to the bottom of the wick tab. Once you get it centered, you're going to just peel off the other side and place it into the tin and press firmly. So next we are going to insert our wooden wick and the size of the wooden wick that I'm using today is a 0.02 thickness, has a width of 0.675 inches. So it's just over half an inch. And of course I'll link the wicks below. What we do now is we place the wick inside of the wick clip that is attached to the bottom of the candle tin. And using our scissors, we're going to lay them flat across the top of the candle tin so that the scissors are touching the tin. We are going to cut off the excess wick. All right, guys, well, you have just completed the first step. You are a third of the way there. You've got this. The next thing we are going to do is measure out our wax and then double boil it to melt it. So we are gonna start by getting our scale ready. We're gonna place it on a flat surface, turn it on, and then we're gonna place our empty stainless steel pitcher on top. So the wax that I am using today is Pro Blend 600 from The Flaming Candle. I'm gonna link that below for you guys. This is my favorite wax because it is just a creamy, pliable parasoy blend with excellent hot and cold scent throw. So once you've measured out your five ounces of wax or close enough, you can go ahead and prepare your double boiler. Now I'm using a one quart saucepan. You can use whatever you have available in your kitchen. Just fill the saucepan up with about a quarter cup of water. The reason we're using such a small amount of water is so when the water is boiling, the bubbles don't pop up into the wax. We definitely don't wanna mix our wax and water because you're going to end up with a disastrous candle that doesn't burn. So turn your burner on medium low heat. And if you have a kitchen thermometer, you could absolutely check your temps throughout the process. But if you don't have a thermometer, that's okay. We want to double boil the wax until it is translucent. You can see clearly through it. If it's cloudy, it's not ready yet. The wax will become transparent at about 175 degrees. And if you are checking your temps, don't let that wax get up over 185. Once you're at 185 or you're able to see completely through your wax and it is transparent, then it's time to take it off and add the covering.
and today we're going to be using a liquid candle dye from Candle Science. Of course, I'll link it below. The liquid candle dye from Candle Science is just a bit more expensive than their color dye block options. So be sure to check out all the options if you're buying your colors from there. But I do have to go ahead and give you guys a warning. I know you're going to be tempted, but I'm going to say do not color your candles with crayons. Crayon wax is not the same as candle wax. What happens when you put crayons in your wax? The wick will just not burn properly. So you're going to be tempted. I know everybody's tempted to save money and just put crayons in their wax, but don't do it. Now you don't have to stir in the coloring for any amount of time. Just give it a few stirs, make sure it's fully incorporated. And then if you have to set it aside, let it cool to about 160 degrees, at which point you are ready to put your fragrance in for step three. Once your wax is ready for the fragrance, you're going to put your stainless steel pitcher back on the scale and tear it out to zero. You just want to zero out the scale so you start fresh. Now there are two ways to add the fragrance. One would be to just pour it straight in. That's the method I'm going to take because I've been doing this for a very long time to make sure that you don't over pour. Make sure that you're only putting 0.5 ounces of fragrance in this five ounce candle. That's a 10% fragrance load. If you need to pour the half an ounce into another container before you put it into your candle wax to ensure that you're just getting the half an ounce. Once you have your fragrance in there, you're gonna stir for no less than two minutes. All you have left to do is to gently pour the fragranced wax over top of your wick, ensuring that it is completely coated. You'll notice that the wax only fills up to about the top of the line in the candle tin. That's perfect, that's exactly where we want it. Later on, you're gonna clip your wick down just a little farther to one eighth of an inch, but for now, it's perfect. You're gonna let it sit for 24 hours. So you did it. You DIY'd your own haunted fragranced candle, just like Magic Candle Company. It took less than an hour to do, and you paid a fraction of the cost. Congratulations. Well guys, it's been 24 hours since we created our haunted fragranced candle. As you can see, the purple color is absolutely stunning. And we are going to trim our wick to 1 8 of an inch before we light it. To do this, I am going to use nail pullers that you can get from any hardware store. I got these on Amazon, but if you're in a pinch, you can also use nail clippers. Just be sure to get it evenly across the top at 1 8 of an inch. My overall thoughts on the Cedarwood Vanilla Fragrance, um, it's a nice fragrance. I know I sound unsure of that. It's nice, but it's not great. Um, upon cold throw, I either get a cedar or a vanilla fragrance. There's never a good mixture of both, regardless of whether it's hot or cold. So that means if the candle's burning or if it's not burning. Um, I think if you wanted to go ahead and make it a better scent overall, you could add a little bit of cashmere. I think cashmere would help the spooky appeal of the fragrance, but what you get is what you get here. Unfortunately, the scent is just cedarwood vanilla, which, oh, it's a pleasant scent. It's just, it could be better. With that said, I know that you want to know if the wooden wick lives up to the crackling ability of the brand name. Well, we're going to light it right now. There you have it. I think the sound speaks for itself. You have just created an exact replica. It's not magic. It's actually just science and it's pretty awesome. You're going to impress so many people by making these and giving them away as gifts or just keep them for yourself. Just remember to check back in with Dupe City Co. often as we will cover all of the Magic Candle Company fragrances and products. So if you're looking forward to discovering all the sources for all of Magic Candle Company's fragrances, give us a like and subscribe below. We promise you, your mind will be blown. We are going to be delivering a few videos each week, so check back often. Thanks for watching, Dupe City fam.